All right, so based on the introduction there, you can tell that I like to make my own fishing leaders. Um, I primarily fish in saltwater, and I got into this about a year and a half, two years ago. Now, I've been saltwater fishing my whole life, uh, but I never made my own leaders. I was always going to a Bass Pro Shops or a local bait shop and buying leaders. And, you know, you get to looking at them and you're like, hey, I can do that. And so I kind of got into it. And making your own leaders is a lot of fun. It's kind of actually become a hobby of mine. And it gives you a lot more diversity in the types of rigs that you can make uh, for the conditions that you're fishing in and for the species, species of fish that you're fishing for. And I do everything from, you know, surf fishing uh, and make those rigs um, all the way to making really heavy duty shark rigs. So if you're going to run the spectrum of fishing to the extent that I do, and you're going to make all these different leaders, uh, you're going to need some good tools to do that. And this video is not about how to make leaders. It's not about how to crimp. Uh, there's a lot of good YouTube videos about that. I actually learned, that's how I learned to do it, was watching YouTube videos. Um, so that content is already out there. So I couldn't find a lot of information about the different types of crimpers and which ones you need, which ones you don't need. Are there any brands that you should avoid? Are there any... Uh, ones that you know are regarded as the best um, not a lot of information out there I read customer reviews and I kind of purchased things along the way and kind of learned my lessons along the way as well so I wanted to put this video together to show you guys some of the insight that I've learned um, over the you know year and a half two years that I've been doing this okay so first up are these uh, IWIS IWISS I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that but these are uh, cheapy uh, crimpers that I bought off of Amazon and obviously you can see that the uh, jaw is broken and I wasn't even making any I wasn't really doing a lot of heavy lifting with this thing and the jaw literally broke off uh, when I was doing some crimps so these things actually work pretty good when they were uh, before they were broken um, and they do cover a wide range of uh, sizes they go from small all the way up to 2.2 millimeter and like I said they were only 20 bucks on Amazon the problem that I have with these um, is obviously the fact that they broke and they're cheap, uh, but that they, even though this is a 2.3, 2.4 millimeter, this is a uh, aluminum leader that I use for shark rigs. Um, it does not fit even in the 2.2. I don't know how well that's going to show up. But it does not fit uh, in that groove. So. If you're going to do big rigs for sharks, and this is for 500 pound mono, uh, this particular sleeve, um, you're not going to be able to do them with one of these small crimpers. So if you're going to get a cheap set of crimpers like this, uh, I don't have a problem with them. I mean, I bought them. Uh, these obviously didn't hold up for me. Uh, but if I was to do it again, uh, which I chose not to, but I would buy probably buy two of them. That way you always have a backup set in case one breaks. Okay, so after those cheap crimpers broke, um, I started to do a lot more research on crimpers and to see what I could find. And what I found pretty unanimously was that these Jinka crimpers, um, these are the SC3C crimpers from Jinka, J-I-N-K-A-I. Uh, this is a Japanese company, and allegedly these are hardened steel. So these crimpers are, uh, they have three positions. Um, they still will not do the big 2.3 millimeter aluminum sleeve. And if I can show you that, it doesn't even come close. And come in from this side here. Um, you would really need one more position up. So if this one had four holes and the next size bigger hole, um, it might be the perfect pair of crimpers. It's got built-in wire cutters right there. And again, these are hardened steel, and these have rave reviews, and hey, they haven't broken yet. So um, the difference with these compared to ones like this um, are these are 20 bucks, and these range, I've seen them anywhere from $70 to $80 per pair. So, so far, so good with these Jenka, Jenka crimpers. Uh, they seem to be really good quality. Um, they seem to be really well made, and it does seem like that's hardened steel. It's hard to tell. Um, one of the things I noticed about them is when you do crimp it shut, and this is squeezing it, uh, these jaws are perfectly aligned, and the holes in the middle are also, uh, the, the holes are also perfectly aligned as well. So good quality pair of crimpers here. So last up on the spectrum are these high seas crimpers, and these things go up to 
Um, they're, they're the larger range, obviously, because the size of them. But these things are just brutal. They're really heavy duty. Um, they actually kind of feel like bolt cutters, to be honest with you. And I can assure you, look how thick that is. You're not going to break these. So very confident in these. Um, these are made by High Seas, and the number is HT450-5. Uh, it does say made in China right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, but so far, so good with these crimpers. And really, the only thing I use these for are these big 2.3, 2.4 millimeter sleeves for the 500 pound mono. And let me kind of give you a little demonstration. So one awkward thing about these is you can't really hold the sleeve while you're uh, crimping down with both hands. But anyway, so there it is um, with the crimp in it, the aluminum crimp. All right, so take a look at that. Very nice crimp. Um, like I said, a high degree of confidence in these crimpers. They're just really heavy. Now these crimpers are expensive. They were about $120 and I got these on Amazon as well. All right, once again, um, I still find that I need wire cutters like these. Um, these have wire cutters built in. And you can cut wire, but you can't cut it close unless you have wire cutters that look like this that are kind of uh, uh, you know pointed out a little bit also find that I still need a good pair of pliers and again um, these right here uh, don't have pliers on them you can kind of use the little bit of that end these have a little bit more of an end that you can use as pliers as well but again there's not a tool that's all-inclusive or all-encompassing of all these things or at least not one that I've found so I hope this gave you some insight on some on the on the crimper choices that are out there there certainly wasn't a lot that I found when I was looking uh, so I wanted to make this video to kind of share my experiences with the various crimpers that I've ended up with so hope this helps thanks for watching